How do you choose a name for your company when all the cool names and common names have been taken already? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you five creative ways to brainstorm a company name. And if you wait until the end, I'm going to reveal the best tools to make this process even easier and fun. Coming up. Hi, it's Frank here with more tips and tutorials and strategies to help you create great content and amplify your brand. Thank you so much for being here. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button over there and hit the bell so you won't miss any future updates. So let's jump into the video. All right, if you're still struggling trying to find the right name for your company, I get it. It's still very difficult for me as well to find out the right name for my company. But there are ways, creative ways that we can use to come up with a with a good name so i wrote this down here and i'm going to show you all these five and wait until the end because i'm going to reveal some tools to make this process even easier so the first way is to come up with one word or two words name i'll give you some examples amazon yahoo nike yelp borders these are all one name companies I also have some other two names companies such as Weight Watchers, Fitness Firsts, Coca-Cola, Paramount Pictures. So these are all two word names. How do you come up with one word or two word name? You have to think about your name, what your business does and then combine the two together to create two word name or just use one word. Just go and flip through the uh, dictionaries to find out what's the best word for your company now it might be very difficult to find a one word that hasn't been used yet but i'm going to show you later if you stay a little bit over i'm going to show you some tools that will help you out to find out the one word or two word names the second way is to use mashup words so for instance something like federal express is called fedex walmart is walton plus Walton plus Mart. Then we have Volkswagen from Germany. So there's Volks, which means folks, people, average people. And Wagen means car, so Volkswagen. Then we have Groupon, which is the combination of group plus coupon. Then we have Skype, which is Sky plus peer. Then we have Verizon, which is Veritas, which is truth in Latin, plus Horizon, Verizon. And then we have another one very common, which is Lego, which is leg got, um, and which is a foreign language, means play well. Uh, and then we have the last one that I wrote down, which is quite particular. It's got three uh, words uh, combination in it, which is uh, Vodafone, which is a combination of voice, data, and phone. Vodafone, they come up with their name, very original. The third way is to use alliterations. So using two words or three words, with the same initial. For instance, Best Buy, Dunkin Donuts, Paramount Pictures, Coca-Cola, Fitness First, Weight Watchers, I mentioned before, PayPal, and also my company, Mage in Media. So it's got two M, which is easy to remember. So we're trying to think about what could be a good name with using alliterations, using your, uh, your names, your last name, and your business as well. Fourth way is to use made up words. For instance, YouTube is a made up word. Then we have Facebook, then we have Ikea, which comes from probably idea, Ikea. Then we have the Xero, which is an accounting company that uses zero and replaces the, the Z with the X. And then we have Netflix. It could be a combination of two words, Netflix. So these are made up words. The fifth way is to use acronym. Now you can use your initials plus the business, for instance, something like JD Construction, JP Morgan, TK Maxx, uh, JB Technologies. Um, I personally don't really like using acronyms for a company name because it's very difficult to remember, very easy to misspell, and, and it doesn't make a lot of sense for people that don't know you. So, but it's sometimes could be a good solution for some companies that they decide to use acronyms with perhaps they have like a company with two or three people in it and they want to, you know, combine their letters, their initials to the company, fair enough. Now, if you're still here, I'm gonna reward you by revealing 
the best brainstorming tools I found online. So let's jump into the computer and let's find out. Uh, so the first stop is by going to lindomainsearch.com. That's what I use uh, with my search. So I start from this website and I will uh, search for a name with green smoothies. So I'm going to just type green smoothies and I'm going just to click on the search button and see what it comes up with. It gave me a suggestion here on top, greensmoothies.blog. Or I can choose any of these other suggestions. So Lin Domain Search will also come up with some um, other names. So I've got here, My Green Smoothies is available. I've got Green, Green Smoothies Shop is available, quite nice. Um, if I scroll down here, as you can see, I've got so many ideas. Um, Easy Green Smoothies is available. So if you want to uh, just pick up one of these names, just click on it. And it's going to tell you here, uh, easygreensmoothies.com is available. Uh, also, it tells me that it's quite long for, for Twitter. In case you want to use Twitter, that name is going to take a lot of uh, kind of lot of room uh, on those 160 characters, I believe. And this is just a suggestion. It tells you that the name is too long for Twitter, but I wouldn't mind, to be honest. Uh, let's try something else. Love Green Smoothies. That's a good one. And again, it's gonna suggest me to go to Bluehost. Um, and these names are, they should be quite cheap. Um, so this is the first stop. So if I want to find some suggestions uh, of a name that I brainstorm, or something that I want to use, I can go directly into Lin Domain Search. Now the second website I use is called instantdomainsearch.com. So here I can search for, again, green smoothies. It's going to tell me that greensmoothies.com is taken, but it's available to, to buy. Now, I wouldn't suggest you to spend thousands of dollars for a domain name, uh, especially if you're starting up, but I will probably choose any of these suggestions down below. So here, that just gives me a lot of different extensions. As you can see, it doesn't have to be necessarily .com, uh, but I personally suggest to find a .com domain. It will make it slightly easier for you in the future if you want to uh, use it. Uh, for uh, kind of for longevity reason. Um, again, green smoothies is taken. I can go to something else. For instance, green smoothies dot app would work. Uh, green smoothies, uh, let's say dot club. Uh, we also have other extensions here, lots of extensions. And it's also uh, it's telling me here on the right hand side the price of this premium uh, names. For instance, blend green smoothies dot com is one is. $495. Uh, again, I wouldn't spend that much money um, just trying to find something that it's perhaps a combination of two words. Now, if you get stuck here, my suggestion is to go into above here. We have a generators, generator tab. So when I click on that, it's going to search all the available domains down below and it's going to give you some suggestions. For instance, homegreensmoothies.com. Okay, this could be perfect for for a website about green smoothies and, and smoothies in general. Um, and it's a .com, so I can click on that. And it's perfect, this .com costs one, one pound. Perfect, $1.5 or something. We have Easy Green Smoothies, that's nice, nice name. Easy Green Smoothies, available, one pound. If you wanna buy it, you can buy it. Uh, it's perfect, so you can find uh, good, good suggestions here in instantdomainname.com. Now the third stop is Domize. This is very similar to Instant Domain Search. So if I type green smoothies, again, it will populate the list for me and it will tell me what domain is available. The one in red are not available. The one in green are premium domains. If I hover the cursor over any of these, it will tell me the price. The one in blue, they cost around $10, as you can see, $10, $11 uh, a year. The green one costs quite a bit, uh, $2,600 there for that one. Then we have the Shopify one. You just Google Shopify name generator and it will come up with this page. So all you need to do here is simply scroll down and enter your keywords here. So I'm gonna type green uh, smoothies and click on generate names. And now it's gonna come up with all names that are 
available. So if I click on Green Smoothies Profit, let's try that. It's gonna guide me through uh, reserve the name with Shopify. This is mainly for Shopify, but it's a good resource for you to uh, pick up some good ideas. We have uh, Namelix. This is namelix.com. So I like this uh, very much because it gives me also a graphic uh, representation of my name as a, as a brand. Now you don't have to worry about the logo right away. We're just choosing the name and we're just brainstorming some ideas. Again, green smoothies. And I'm going to just click on generate. And now it's going to generate some graphics for me. Let's have a look. There we go. So I've got all these graphics that are available and also it's suggesting me some other names here. These are sea green. It's another name which could be related to your green smoothies. As you can see on top, I've got my green smoothie search and also is I've got an option to put a negative keyword. You can type that there and you can actually uh, do the regenerate the search again. These are just to give you a graphic representation of how your name might look on um, on colors, on backgrounds, and with uh, nice fonts. So you can see they're quite fun here. So have a look at this and find perhaps a color scheme that you like, color combinations that you like, um, and save that as your favorite so you can actually use that later on when you decide what graphic to use, what color you want to use for your website and for your uh, for your brand. Not extremely important now, but at least we can have a graphic representation of how that look. Beautiful, I, I love name links, uh, just because I'm very visual and I like to see how the logo looks like. Next one is namemesh.com. Again here is very similar to the uh, instant name generator and the other one I showed you before, but it also sorts keywords and domain by categories. So let's try this. Green smoothies. Generate my search. And now it's kind of, you see, it tells me uh, the common names, the similar names. And on top, I can choose what registrar I can use to buy it. I can use GoDaddy. I can use a uh, name cheap. If you like that, I've got others here as well. I stick with GoDaddy because I've got others in GoDaddy, but you can choose any others. Okay, so we have here, uh, again, tells me greensmoothies.com is taken, and but I've got all these other uh, options. I can go to similar. I've got blue smoothies, I've got yellow smoothies, uh, black smoothies, plastic smoothies, wet smoothies, golden smoothies. Okay, that can work. Golden smoothies, let's see. Okay, golden smoothies is uh, one pound so it's quite uh, it's quite cheap so this can also work and again have a look at this you also have seo names um, for instance uh, we have mygreensmoodies.com can work for your uh, for your site and for your company the next one it's panabi now panabi is similar to lean domain search uh, because it will give you suggestions. Let's try it. green smoothies. And again, search. And now you see here all the ones that are available have these little heart next to them. This blue heart, the one with the broken heart means it's taken. It gives me some original suggestion as well. For instance, eye green smoothies, bright smoothies. And I like Panabi because it comes up with some further suggestions that other websites that I just showed you don't have. The next one is brandlens.com. So in here, you'll find um, all different logos. And I think I will probably choose this next stage after you have chosen your, uh, your name. But this just, again, it gives you a graphic representation on how uh, your logo might look like. And here are all domain names that are available but they don't really make a lot of sense to me. But if they make sense to you, uh, for perhaps you have some initials here that um, you, can, you can use. For instance, if you have chosen to have your name, uh, your company name with acronym, this can work. Okay, so, and you've got plenty of pages here to browse. And again, you can see color combinations. You can see some ideas, some graphic 
representation of fonts as well. A cool place to go. And also you have uh, you can sort, sort business names by popular, funny, catchy, luxury. It depends on your niche as well. So let's say if I want to go into a catchy phrase, or a catchy name. Now it just searches for catchy names. And again, you can see color combinations, what color works with what. Next up is namechecker.com. So here you can actually search for the same for the same name so I think this I will probably use name checker at the very end of your search after you have kind of searched uh, your uh, name extensively using the other tools uh, you can actually come here and see if it's available in all the other uh, platforms you see you've got uh, Twitter Facebook Google YouTube and all the other uh, social media so if I go here and I type green smoothies let's say if I choose go green smoothies I think it was available Go Green Booties and I search. It's going to tell me what platform um, is still available. So in this case here, the domain.com is available. The not .net, .org, .io is available. If Facebook is not available, someone is using it. But do not worry, you don't have to necessarily have exactly the same name. It could be you can have actually some alteration of the name there. Do not worry. For Twitter, again, it just gives me that warning sign because the the name is quite long. I have also YouTube here, which is available. Very good. Uh, Instagram is not available, but you can uh, you can tweak the name uh, slightly. And again, you can actually have a look here and see what's the availability for your name, which is brilliant. I mean, one glance you understand what's going on in the social network. The next website I'm going to show you is more on the legal side, just to find out if that name has been trademarked or not. This website is called USPTO.gov, which is an American website to search for patent and trademark. So all you need to do is simply go to search trademark database down below here. And I'm going to click on search trademark database here. And now it's going to ask me here what kind of search I want to do. So in basic word mark search, I would go for work or design mark. You could do that. Uh, so I can go there. And now I can search for Go Green Smoothies. If we chose a that, Go Green Smoothies. And let's click on search. Looks like no one used it here. Now, after you um, figured out if it's been trademarked or not, the next step would be searching for the trademark uh, locally in your area. So in my case here in UK, I go to the gov website, the government website, which is gov.uk. I just simply searched um, trademark UK and it came up with the gov website. And here I can search for trademark. I can go and search for a trademark and I just need to go and search for uh, either trademark uh, number or the owner or the keyword. In this case, we're looking for the keyword. I'll click on keyword and I can choose here to type go smoothies smoothies i will research all words just press search see if it gives me something okay so on the search in the local search i found out that someone um has green greenies moody's bar juice lounge uh, another one is g genius smoothies so you can see which company has trademarked their name and also their logo as well so it gives you also an idea of what uh, what's going on in your in your country so if you're searching for your trademark locally you just go to google type trademarks in and then the name of your country so if i go into canada trademarks in canada and then yeah, i just keep the ads and i go to the first organic search so this is the canadian one so again you can search for any country and again i will suggest you also to uh, consult a legal just to find out that your name is clean everywhere is not being used and then you can go forward and register now you don't have to necessarily go through trademarks just yet make sure at least it's free and no one used it so you can actually go ahead and buy the domain name and register your company as well all right i hope it's been helpful 
And if you want to have this content in a written format, we also have a little ebook, a checklist that you can download in a comment below. And by the way, all the best conversation happened in a comment below. So leave a comment if you find any tools that I haven't mentioned in this video and share it with your community. And again, if you haven't done so, click the subscribe button, hit the bell and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't watched part one of this video, please click here. And if you want to just click on any related video, click here. Thank you so much for being here. And if you haven't already, <coughs> give me some water. <coughs> Gosh. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you five creative ways.